Okay, everyone. So I'm going to um, show you how to use the another functionality on our D2L tests um, in order to uh, make sure that your answers are being uh, viewed by your teachers so we can mark them to the best of our abilities. I'm using the sample test that we have provided you on D2L. Uh, just a reminder that, that you have unlimited attempts on the sample test. So uh, feel free to practice doing this as many times as you want. Um, so this is going to help cut down on adding files, um, adding separate files. And there's always a danger when you add files because that means your teachers have to download the files and a number of things can go wrong when we do that. Uh, either the file is corrupted so we cannot open it or, you know, we just want to avoid any scenarios with viruses and other things. So this is going to still be there for emergencies, but I'm going to teach you today how to embed an image file. So uh, this only works with image files. So uh, you can still use Office Lens, Lens to add a file, but we would like to encourage you to use the equation editor. Uh, just a reminder, the equation editor can be used by pressing the dot, 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 and then this symbol where the graphical equation software app pops up. But if you would prefer to write your answers on paper, we would like you to upload after you're done every question. Therefore, um, you will um, make sure that even if you don't get to all of the questions, you will have some images uploaded that uh, we can mark. So the first step is to go to this little camera icon where you will see insert image. And at this point, you want to select from my computer and you can simply drag and drop the image file, the JPEG file into this little box. Now this might look as a little complicated, but you wanna make sure that store in course files is um, selected, not add as an attachment. We don't want to add as an attachment. So you're going to press add at this point. Uh, it'll say alternative text. You can simply just write the number of the question that you are answering. So for example, if it says, um, if you're working on question number two, I would just write down the number two, press OK. And um, sorry, this is always create a new file if you're given that option. And the image is embedded in the text box, which is perfect. Your teacher will definitely be able to see it and um, you can also add any text you would like to um, include. And all you have to do at this point is submit the answer or save the answer and the image will be embedded into each question. I hope you found this video helpful. And that is all for today.